Hey everyone out there in Modern Faith Unlimited Land, uh, William Quinn here. I just wanted to give a uh, brief update on uh, how I've been doing since the um, the uh, sit at home uh, mandate uh, because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, I just want to follow up on what uh, William Henley said the other day, and uh, I just want to let everybody know I'm good. I've been here at home, um, relaxing. I have been doing great and uh, just uh, managing my time. I've been working from home, which is good. Um, uh, studying a lot of the Word. I just got started in a uh, Bible study at Gateway uh, in the men's department. I've, uh, you know, just really what I wanted to do during this time is just really take this opportunity and if there's any if there's anything I'm not doing right in God's eyes, I want to nip that in the bud during this time. I really want to make sure that, you know, I have my complete focus on God. And I have my complete focus on what I want to do for His glory and His kingdom. So, um, other than that, I've been doing great. And... Um, Basically, also, I just want to share some encouragement with people out there um, that are probably uh, probably in the same boat I am, just uh, trying to ride the storm out and just trying to, you know, hopefully see life get back to normal sooner than later. And I'm I'm with you guys in that same boat. So, um, I did find a, a verse of encouragement. Um, uh, that I want to share with you guys. It's uh, Jeremiah 25, uh, verses 32 and the first part of 33. Uh, and re it goes like this. Um, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Look, disaster is spreading from nation to nation. A mighty storm is rising from the ends of the earth. At that time, those slain in the Lord will be everywhere. From one end of the earth to the other. And catch this, guys. They will not be mourned or gathered up or buried. I look at that as the Spirit of God taking His people and watching them become beacons of light through this whole coronavirus case. Guys, if you're a believer in Jesus, we have the opportunity right now. He's commanded us in his word, we've got to be big as a light for the people that are hurting and needy right now. I mean, this is not just here in Dallas. This is all over the world. As the verse states, people all over the world, his people, need to become beacons of light in that area they're at, blooming where they're planted. I can't stress enough that he wants us to take where we are at right now, which is not by accident, wherever we're at right now, and just do whatever we can to just be the light to the people around us. You know, if it's physical needs, spiritual needs, emotional, we've got to be there for people in the most godliest form and way possible. I cannot stress enough that I'm sensing now that Whatever bad is happening now, our Father's going to take this and make it good. He's going to make it righteous. He's going to make it known to everybody that He's in control. And He wants to help anybody that will call out His name. I just want to um, add on by saying... Don't give up hope in this. Stay strong. If you're a believer in Jesus, stay strong. Get in the Word. Just set your mind on things of the Lord and His nature. I mean, in times like this, it's very easy to, you know, just to be fearful, be scared, you know, and just to be unhopeful. And I know a lot of people are using Psalm 91, uh... Unfortunately, I've heard people saying we're abusing Psalm 91, which is ludicrous. 
that was written for a reason. We're not supposed to have a spirit of fear, and there's meaning behind that. I know a lot of people are bringing that up, but this truth. We're not supposed to have a spirit of fear. God never intended to have that. And if, if it means keep saying it and saying it, so be it. Let's have a mindset of God's going to pull us through this. God's going to take care of us. He's going to take care of his children. And revival is going to happen in this country and around the world. I'm sensing that too also. Please, if you're a believer in Jesus, stay in prayer, stay in the word, be resilient. Our God's got us. He's got our backs. We're going to get through this. And you're going to start seeing a massive harvest. I'm sensing it completely. Well, that's uh, my update this time. Um, Hopefully, me and William Henley will have some uh, more shows coming. Uh, looks like we are going to be doing the Skype thing, um, which is cool with me. I'm going to try to get some uh, better equipment so I sound a little better on my end. And, um, yeah. Guys, just keep praying. Keep praying. Keep being resi resilient. And I will see you then. Take care. Bye.